Hello everyone, my name is Fatima Castaño and I am Psycho-Oncologist. Today I'm here to give you some tips to cope with the quarantine for myeloma and AL amyloidosis patients. The increase of the number of people affected all over the world by the coronavirus has generated a lot of concern and has forced lots of countries to take measures to avoid the infection. These measures are very, very restrictive in some countries and include social distancing and also working home to stop spreading the virus. The information we receive increase the concern and especially the fear of people that live with chronic diseases such as uh, myeloma and AL amyloidosis. This uh, situation, this quarantine, could uh, increase your anxiety, your fears and also your negative thoughts. In this situation, it's so important to save a time to take care of your physical health, but also uh, for your mental health. And here I can give you some tips to cope with this quarantine time in the best way. And the first one is to save some time in your day to make your home comfortable, to keep it tidy and also to choose books, films, music or anything that helps you to enjoy your time at home. The other one is to create your own routine, including healthy habits regarding diet, sleep, physical activity, and also enjoying your free time. Please don't spend all your day in your pajamas. Being at home doesn't mean you can't start your day taking off your pajamas as you did before the quarantine. Differentiate the area you use for work and the area of your home you use for your free time would be great to feel you more comfortable. Also, keeping social contact is very, very important to reduce your feeling of isolation. Please use your technologies to feel, more, to feel closer to your relatives. In these days, we are receiving a lot of information about coronavirus and the situation in different countries. Please ration the information that you receive and use only the information that is important for you. Some of you probably are receiving information of your health uh, professionals that suggest some changes in your treatment plans or in your visits uh, to hospital. Please remember that any change that, your, that the health professionals suggest you are suggested to uh, reduce the risk of infection and to safeguard you. Please try to keep positive thoughts and also remember that uh, thinking always um, in the worst case is not helpful to cope with this situation. Follow the tips of the health uh, professionals because they are helping us to stop the spreading of the virus. Thank you very much. See you in the next video.